Post got here for Netbook News, and here we are at the ECS Computing Conference 2011. Here we have yet another Windows tablet. I am not impressed. Uh, to be honest, it doesn't look good at all. Uh, it does have 1366 by 768 uh, screen resolution, which is quite nice. Um, if we take a look around the unit, you can see there's speakers down here at the bottom. <laughs> Nothing here on the side. I do like the fact that they put the venting here at the top, because traditionally in a Windows tablet you're going to use it in this type of like this, this mode. So when we have the fan at the top, that means that the venting is staying away from your hands. It does have an accelerometer, but I believe it is turned off. Um, so when I do hold it, actually, uh, it actually also stays away from the venting. So that that design, that design feature actually is quite nice. Around here on the side, we have a SD card slot, mini HDMI, audio jacks, USB, and PSU. This does come with 1632 and 64 gigs of SSD. We've got a one megapixel, 1.3 mega megapixel camera webcam on the front. We do have back home. Right, and so the home actually pulls up uh, a quick launch menu to do a display, pull up a keyboard, let's check out the keyboard. Uh, that's just the standard Windows keyboard that's disappointing. Uh, we're we're going to be seeing around under six hours of battery life, probably around more like four and a half. Um, this is running on the Intel Z670 processor, and the ECS doesn't actually produce their own tablets since we'll get rebranded. Re so um, this is the ECS prototype here. Uh, who's going to rebrand it? We shall see. But uh, taking a look now, they also have it in black. Nicole Scott here for Netflix News.